Solar systems are a highly effective, cost-saving, environmentally friendly option for affordable housing projects in California. Several groundbreaking, energy-efficient projects have been built, dozens are under construction, and many more in the planning stages. Visionary progressive developers, innovative financial incentives, and critical benefits for the health of our communities are ensuring that solar systems are quickly becoming the industry standard throughout the state. Why? Because solar energy makes sense for affordable housing developers. Solar is cost effective. Financial support is available from the state and federal government, making the purchase of photovoltaic systems called PV systems a smart economic option. Solar saves money. PV systems dramatically reduce utility costs and when combined with energy efficient design and construction can produce electricity costs that reach zero. Solar is a good business strategy. It opens new financing options, enhances tenant satisfaction, and puts your organization in a good position to win future development deals. I think it's very doable. I think, I think it will come to standard, and it's just a matter of time, and those who make the investment early will be doing something good for their organization and good for their community. Solar energy makes sense for affordable housing residents. Stabilizing and lowering tenant utility bills, putting money in the pockets of families for medical bills, food, education, and other necessities. Reducing air pollution and improving air quality for children and adults alike. Cutting operating costs, allowing developers to afford more resident amenities like childcare, after school programs, and other resident activities. Uh, now I'm able to uh, have a little bit of extra money and hopefully be able to save a little bit and provide a nice living environment, a safe environment for my son and I. She could barely pay for food before, and now that, that she's able to do that. Solar energy makes sense for the local, state, and national economy. Power outages cost the U.S. economy over $119 billion a year. Particularly hard hit is California. PV systems take the burden off local power plants and cut down the risk of rolling blackouts. Dependence on foreign fuels make our economy vulnerable to volatile markets, causing fuel prices to fluctuate wildly. PV systems result in stable and secure energy costs. Economic growth will be stimulated and strengthened through the research and the manufacturing of solar technologies. PV systems help create thousands of new green jobs. I suspect in the not too distant future, we're going to be thinking, gosh, remember when we used to develop housing and we didn't have photovoltaic in it? Solar energy makes sense for the environment. Generating electrical power that is clean and thereby diminishing greenhouse gas emissions that cause global warming. Guaranteeing access to a constant, renewable, silent, free source of power, the sun. Accessing local power sources so no electricity is lost as it travels long distances through miles of transmission wires. How does a photovoltaic system work? PV systems convert energy from the sun into electricity to power the housing project. The major components of a photovoltaic system are the PV panels that convert sunlight into DC electricity, the hardware that holds the PV panels onto the roof, carport, or other exposed area. The wire and conduit that transmits the electricity from the PV panels. The inverter that receives the DC electricity from the PV panels and converts it into AC electricity to power lights, air conditioning, and other appliances. PV panels suffer little degradation over time and come with a 25-year warranty. They have substantially the same output in year 25 as on day one. Inverters have 10-year warranties and are likely to be replaced once during the life of a PV system. How does solar affect the developer's bottom line? Affordable housing projects with a PV system are still connected to the local electricity grid. During the day when the sun is strong, solar energy production is high. Excess electricity is sent back into the local grid. The electrical meter effectively spins backwards. At night, when there is no sunlight and electrical demand is high, the housing project's needs are then met by drawing from the grid. The electrical meter effectively spins forward. 
At the end of the year, the balance is determined. This is termed net metering. With an efficient and carefully designed green building project, the annual energy bill can be dramatically reduced, or even be zero. The meter is going to go one way when you're paying, and when you're giving it back, it goes the other way. And that's for us was the key thing that says, well, it's worth it. We're going to give it a try. We're going to be innovative. We're going to, we're going to invest in this deal. Two typical applications of PV systems for affordable housing. Model A. A developer can power the common spaces in the housing project with solar energy, greatly reducing or eliminating common area electricity charges. The Nuevo Amanecer, a housing project for farm workers in Watsonville, California, is an example of this model. All of the individual residential units are conventionally powered so the tenants are responsible for the cost of their electricity consumption. However, the common spaces like walkways, hallways, parking lots and other communal areas are connected to a PV system. Approximately 2,000 to 8,000 square feet of roof space is needed to install enough solar panels to meet all common area electrical needs. Model B. A developer can power all of the common spaces and also each individual residential unit with a PV system. The Solara Housing Project in Poway, California is an example of this model. The common spaces are powered by solar and each living space has its own set of panels, an inverter and meter, although regulatory changes could soon allow simpler configurations. A typical residential unit needs approximately 300 square feet of roof space to meet all of its annual electricity needs. Housing complexes like the Solara are able to achieve a zero net energy annual consumption. In both of these models, PV is most valuable in an energy efficient project that has a good building envelope, efficient HVAC systems, fluorescent lighting, and Energy Star appliances. How does a developer finance a solar system? There has been a steady and considerable decline in the price of PV systems over the past 15 years. Now, with a combination of state incentives and federal tax credits, an affordable housing developer can install a solar system that is fully financed with little to no additional upfront costs. Projects typically use some or all of the following four financial incentives. Additional low-income housing tax credits that are based on either the cost of the entire housing project or the specific cost of the PV system. State rebates that are based on the size of the photovoltaic system. Federal tax credits that fluctuate in size and availability but can be worth up to 30% of the system cost after state rebates. Increased permanent debt that the developer can pay back with the additional cash flow generated from energy cost savings. Those savings can be from reduced common area charges or utility allowance adjustments from units that are powered by solar energy. The total cost of our system was going to be about 260 grand and we essentially through the tax credits and then also with the California Energy Commission those combined led to basically a 60 percent savings. Solar energy makes sense for the whole community. It reduces peak energy demand and diverts rolling blackouts, lowers the cost of purchasing electricity from the local utility, combats global warming by cutting greenhouse gas emissions, produces cleaner air for future generations, assists American families in financial need, stimulates a more resilient economy by creating green jobs, and distinguishes developers in the affordable housing business for future development deals. From now on, the question ought to be, if an affordable housing project in California doesn't have solar, the question should be, why not? For more information on solar energy, go to California Energy Commission and Public Utilities Commission Solar Information, California Tax Allocation Committee, and Global Green USA. Solar energy makes sense.